Hi guys. Hi everyone. Alright, so since afternoon I've been trying to do this live and I just have to do it now before I go to bed. I took a time to think. Let me just remove these glasses before when somebody, when people start sending us away. So today I was I took a time today to think about my life, my family about life okay so we've been locked down for the past five weeks like five weeks at home and for me personally as a person it have given me time it gave me time to like think to reflect about my life as a person and i don't know about you i mean five weeks at home has given me a lot of time to think like i've been thinking about everything now if you've been at home and you've just been eating rice and beans I want you to know that this period is a time for you to think about your life think about your work think about think about your children think about where you are going to that is what I've been thinking for the past you know I think I didn't do that the first week or second week but since last week I've sat down to ask myself a question what is life like? What would you change? It? I don't think that after this COVID, that life should still be the same for anybody. Now, we know how many people are dead. I'm talking about people that are dead. Okay. In the who die like it's every day. So, so it cannot be life as you have COVID. So I want to talk to you guys about thinking and making changes in life. Now, COVID has come. It's giving you, if you're a very busy person, you're always waking up in the morning, you are out, you're coming back late in the night. It's giving you a moment to sit down and think. Think. And I hope you've had time to think about your life. What are those changes you need to make? What are those things that you have left for some time? You haven't made those changes. Are you going to take the leap of faith? Are you going to do them? All right. So if you are a Christian like me and you are maybe in church, many people, many pastors will be for you to read your Bible, time for you to reflect on God, then relationship with God. Yes. I mean, if you're one of those people that have not been praying, you've not been reading your Bible, of course, it's time for you to think about your relationship with God. This is the important thing, okay? But after thinking about your relationship with God, it's also time for you to think about those things that are pertaining to your life, your job before this COVID. How was it? Did you love it? Was it a mystery? Was it a misery? Was Did you just wake up in the morning and you hit your life? So, my question is, have you done your CV yet? Are you going to waste these four weeks of lockdown without bringing out your CV and making sure that it is up to date? I don't know about you, but for me personally, these are what I'm thinking about. Already finished writing my I told you guys I'm going to start writing a book. I've already finished writing my book and I'm going to be very soon editing it and then making it to be available on Amazon. That is one thing I can tell myself I accomplished during the lockdown. I mean, God has given me life. He hasn't finished yet. We're still on lockdown. But at least I don't want to tell myself I spent at home five weeks and I did not accomplish something. There's nothing to tell my parents. Why did God leave me here? Yeah, evangelism apart from being a Christian and winning soul. What are those things that I can do for my life as, a, as my life? Okay. So let me ask a question. For those of us that are married, have you some spouses? How have you guys been this five weeks as a wife? Have you understood your role? As a husband, have you helped in the house? Have you been there for your wife? Or have you guys been 
you know, log apart, one person on one side, the other person on the other side? Or have you guys actually had time to trash out those things that have been separating you guys? The side chicks were not, have not been around. So have you sat down to talk about your family, about your marriage, about your children, about how many babies you want if you are newly married, about your in-laws that have been disturbing you or anything, they have not been around. Have you had time to sit down and talk? Don't let this five or six weeks or ten weeks to waste without sitting down and talking. Have you tried to understand your partner a little bit? Have you tried to ask questions? This is the opportunity. I'm telling you, this is the opportunity. Okay? And I keep, I know I made a video the other day about sex. Sex is not all about sex. It's about communication, talking. You know, he's not rushing to go to work. He's not staying late without coming back. He is at home with you. Take out time, this period, to talk. Now, are you in a relationship? Have the guy called you since? Or have the girl called you since? Where is the girl? How has he responded to you during the discovered? Is it time for you to ask yourself a question? Where is this relationship leading to? Is it time for me to cut my cost and move on? Covered should be a time of reflection. Please don't come at a period to be the same. I don't want to be the same. I want to be a changed person after this period. Okay, okay. let me ask you a question. The job that you have, what are you going to do? I got a call this afternoon just for you to know that even agencies, recruiters, they know that many people are going to be resigning after this period. So I got a call this afternoon from an agency that I've been working with like a long time ago. And they are, they've not called me for how many years, but they had the time to call me to ask me, oh, what do you want after this COVID? And it, it, it got me thinking, hmm. So these people will be taking life decision and making changes in their life after the COVID. So why is your CV not being done this time? You've always told yourself, oh, how I wish I had time to do my CV or how I should have. There is time now. Bring it out. Do it. Get it done. Do you need to change home? Do you need to start looking for an apartment? Is it not time for you to get in there? Some of us, we're not living close to our loved ones. We've moved to cities. Cities are far away from our loved ones. It's not time for us to start thinking about all this hustle and bustle and, you know, room and gloom of living in London or New York or Lagos or Abuja. Is it not time for us to think about which part of the country or which part of the world will enrich my and make me more healthy? For crying out loud. Let the life that we've lost ginger you to do something. Let it not be life as usual. usual. Don't go back after the COVID to your normal life. It will be life wasted. It will be an opportunity wasted. It is time for you to have a question. After COVID, what next? What next in my life? All right, so this is all I want us to reflect on. I want us to think about our life, where we're coming from, how far we're from, how privileged we are to be alive till now in the midst of death around us. It's about time for us to ask ourselves a question. After this COVID, what nest so for me and my family we decided that we're going to start being a little bit more home cooked so normally before we do take away we do you know dinner out fridays we do all those things but for the past few days i've been trying to cook at home so i've done um carrot cake and this, after, this evening, I did 
pizza my pizza is still in the I'm showing you guys the pizza just for you to rate it for me but the, everything was done by me and my son and if you want to watch me just you know doing the pizza is on my facebook page just go there and just go and watch it but let me hi some people are on my page uh hi uh hi hello lisa hello nemeka hi how are you so my question to everyone is how will life be after the covid what are those changes that you are going to be making after this period is it going to be life as usual so then i'm going to type it now how oh my disney just giving me a cap keep big cap okay how will life change so how will life change for you after COVID? i just want to know because i am really reflecting on my life and i'm asking myself what what do i need to do after this period what are those things i need to change one thing i know i need to change is my my accommodation i need to get my own house seriously i mean me and my husband we had time we talked about it we planned about it made up our mind that we are leaving london i have to leave london just have to leave it's not it's no more a joke okay i'm sick and tired of living in london so i've i've always spoken about leaving london going to ss going to kent going to milton kings just leaving london and this covid have brought it very home to me that is about time i leave i don't know how but i know that i am going you know the fear most times that we have as black and as people that work in a professional is when we go deeper outside when we live outside london are we going to get black people living around us are we going to face racism are we going to be comfortable in our work are we going to people that I cost we were working? But you know what? If I don't take the leap of faith, I'm going to be living where I don't want to live for the rest of my life. I've always loved country areas. I've always loved, you know, quiet places. And I've always felt like, you know, places like Milton Keynes, Kent, Essex, there's a richer life there. So that is my own decision. I am moving after covid so what about you what are those decisions that you have decided to make after covid are you going to live your life like okay if you're in london if you're in the uk close to twenty thousand people died if you're in america you're about to reach hundred thousand people dying are you going to live your life as normal or are you going to be changing certain things you're going to have a new leave of life god is giving you a new chance in life what are those things that you made up your mind you know what i i i'm i'm, I'm letting go of this it's not that important i'm going to need to move on all right so that is what i want us to, what i just want you to think about it right you don't have to tell us here but talk about your life okay? and think about those changes that you need to make all right so um The next thing that actually comes to my mind when I think about COVID is what happened to our society, what is going on in our society. People feel that they are entitled. Like when I see what is happening in Nigeria, the IG life, I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, what is going on? like i don't know if you guys know about mc galazi and slime i don't know if it's slime shame or slime i don't know what he calls his name please uh, those things are not okay what is our society going to be like after this COVID? i see you know when i see what is happening currently i'm like 
oh my god where are we going to are people this desperate like they need money so much that they can go naked on ig life have you know people masturbating on ig life have people three sons on ig life and i'm like is this real in nigeria my nigeria ha You know, some people are thinking about how to make their life better after COVID-19. Other people are thinking about they don't care. You know, they don't care. They don't care. All they want is just to survive this period and just they don't. They don't really care about their future. And I've been like, oh my God. Let's think about our life after COVID. We need to be planning for life after COVID, I'm going to tell you. There is a recession coming after COVID. Are you preparing for it? Listen, some people will see the reception and uh, recession as, you know, a bad time. Some other people who are prepared will see it as an opportunity. It depends on which part that you want to play. Do you want to see it as a bad time? Or as an opportunity but all we all we know is that there is life after COVID either you want to see it as an opportunity for you to better your life to go for invest as the shares are falling for you to think about buying houses people are thinking about life after COVID people are thinking about how to move on to a People are thinking about what to do with their life after COVID. Because at the end of the day, if we survive, if you survive, if I survive, life cannot be the way it is. Life should mean something to you because some people did not. It should not be life as usual. I'm sorry to say it, yeah? If you're in a, not in a good relationship, maybe it's time for you to think about moving on. Because <sighs> you've seen it all. We have had, I don't know, I don't think anyone who've, who've not had someone close to them or not someone that they know dying if you live in the UK. If you live in the UK, you must have heard of someone close to you or someone you know that knows someone that have died. So you that is alive, let your life count. Don't live your life just like you've been living it before let your life count after COVID. All right. So start thinking about your life. Start doing those things that you need to do and start thinking about how you can make your life better. Enough of sleeping. Enough of, you know, wasting this one week of staying at home. Please stop with making good use of it and know that it's those that plan now those that are actually planning now that will reap the life after COVID right so that's what I want to talk to you guys about because I just feel like people don't understand that God has given us a new chance if you're going to be alive after this time and it's for you to know that life cannot be the same after COVID, no way. There's no way the world will be the same. Something will change. And you also need to understand that some things in your life also need to change. We all need to change. All right, guys, thank you so much for listening to me. And thank you for, for those of you that joined me. And I hope what I've said actually will give you an opportunity to think and start thinking about how will your life be? after this time what are those things you need to start doing what are those things you need to let go of because there is a life after this time and those that are prepared are those that will get the best of it, best of it thank you god bless you bye bye